welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel evolution in present time what happens does evolution takes place we want to see it because we are saying present time then it means that evolution is taking place let's look at it in detail describe how mosquitoes uh, develop resistance to ddt how did it, like when you apply ddt it does not affect mosquitoes anymore then it means that there is a resistance which has been what which has been formed so we need to know that so that is the evolution it means that evolution remember i told you that evolution is increasing the complexity of an organism the organism become more complex if the organs become more complex it means that what was working on it it's no longer working on it. it has become more complex it has modified its structure then it means that it, it, it cannot what it cannot uh, be affected by such so you're saying that now we have these mosquitoes yes if the mosquitoes you have this kind you have this kind you have this kind so what happens when you apply the first uh, application of ddt yeah you see that uh, all these ones they die yes you see them that they have died only this and this they have survived so it means that there is variation among the species there is variation among the species of mosquitoes yes during the first application of ddt yes those which are resistant will survive uh, while those which are not resistant will die out those which are resistant will reproduce in large numbers and they will pass their genes to the next generation yes when they pass their genes in the next generation they reproduce in large numbers and then when you apply again did it it means that it can not affect them so it means that now the mosquitoes have become resistant to what to ddt so first application uh, there is variation among these uh, mosquitoes whereby some are resistant and some are non-resistant but the, the one which are non-resistant are very many compared to those are resistant so when you apply many which are non-resistant they're going to die you see them they're fading them they're fading out while those which are resistant will survive yes this one which are resistant will pass their genes to the next generation will produce in large numbers and pass their genes to the next generation the second application yes of ddt yes they will not be able to affect them why because the one which are resistant have survived then it means that uh, the ddt will become ineffective to the mosquito it happens it happens in in in, in when you take drugs and you don't complete them the dose it happens in hiv it happens in bacteria yes it happens in the their life so um let's look at it there's a large number of degree of variation in the mosquito yes we saw it when the ddt uh, was first used it killed off the large number of mosquitoes but some mosquitoes were resistant to the ddt and they survived those which are resistant the black one you saw it uh, they were resistant so they survived when they survived they passed those that survived were able to reproduce they reproduce in large numbers increasing the population of resistant mosquitoes yes continued use of ddt had little effect on the resistant mosquitoes it means that those which are resistant now they have uh, conquered the what the environment so ddt will not be working on them so at the end of the day you'll find out that ddt will become ineffective to uh mosquitoes or it becomes infective in killing what the mosquitoes hence uh, we are saying that hence the resistant mosquitoes increased and then and non-resistant mosquitoes they died or they decreased in numbers so basically that's it that is the present day evolution other examples will which can help you um you can do it with your teacher uh, Number one, this is resistance in bacteria. Yes, development of resistance strain of tuberculosis, that is bacteria, mycobacterium tuberculosis, due to the mutation. So this is the bacteria, it is reproducing large numbers. As it is producing large numbers, it produces some resistance. When you apply the antibiotics, yes, these ones which are not resistant will die out. And those which you see, they have died out. Those which are resistant, they two, two of them, they will survive and then they will produce in large numbers they will pass their genes to the next generation after many generations or after successful application of the antibiotics yes the antibiotics won't be able to work on 
the bacteria and then it means that the resistant one will survive that's why when they are giving you medication sometimes they give you a combination of medication because they know that they could be some resistant so they must must give you the medication in different versions so that even the resistant ones they can be resistant to this drug but they might not be resistant to another drug so they give you multiple drugs but some what what other people do they just take one and then when they feel fine they stop uh, taking medication you are just creating monsters in your body you have to take the drug completely without uh, leaving them the way how the doctor has told you to do. So even if you're fine, you have to complete the dose so that you kill this resistant and non-resistant completely out of your body. Then another example is HIV resistance to um, antiretrovirus, ARV, antiretroviral, and antiretroviral. That is ARV, antiretroviral medications. So you see that if this is the HIV, what happens? You have some resistant and some non-resistant, some resistant and non-resistant. When you apply the first medication, the resistant ones <clears throat> will survive, will keep on surviving, while the non-resistant will die. You see that the red ones are, are dying. And then after many generations the non-resistant ones will die out and then the resistance will survive until the end of the day you pack so it means that now that medication of of of, of hiv cannot work on you anymore yes it cannot help you out it means that you have to go back and then change the, what the medication that's how uh um present day evolution is happening um present day evolution you can also have another one in uh black pepper de moth and then the, the, the white pepper de moth uh, um, industrial medalism the black pepper de moth and then the white pepper de moth so you can have also such examples so basically uh, that's it and then uh human evolution is sitting in then i will see you there when you come to human evolution don't forget to subscribe for our new videos.